Is it working? Hello. Hello. Are we on? Is this thing We're on? on. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Hi guys. I will be your assistant tonight, so please make yourself comfortable and enjoy. Can you hear us loud and clear or is it too low? Awesome. I was gonna ask where do you guys live and what time it is and then I saw all the 5 a.m. 5 a.m. and I'm like no <laughs> it's like in the middle of the night I feel bad Five a.m. Eleven. I guess eleven. It's not too bad. Nine p.m. is good. Awesome. I feel bad for everyone who is like five a.m. or three a.m. or midnight. Yeah, no three a.m. <laughs> oh no. So even is gonna. Even will help me out checking the chat and, you know, just telling me what you guys say because it's difficult to talk and read at the same time. I felt like last time I couldn't really keep up with what you were saying, so he's gonna be my assistant and he'll make sure I know what you guys are saying. All righty. You're good to go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, well, I, to answer your question, Diana, I was hoping to do it every month. I just need to I don't know, find, the, find the time to organize everything and do it. But yeah, I would love to do it every month if possible. That would be great because it's really fun talking to you guys. We're good. We had a nice good. busy day. We went to the cinemas. We went to the cinemas earlier. We went to see Sing, the movie, the animated movie with all the animals singing. It was really, really cute. Um, it was really fun. Yeah, it was really nice. So, holiday plans. Mm, I really want to go back to Japan. Even if it's just for a weekend, that would be nice. But yeah, at the moment we're trying to save money for some other stuff. So yeah, we haven't been on a holiday for on a holiday for quite some time since January. Yeah, was it January when we went to Japan? I we'll have to sneak in a weekend or a week soon. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Yeah, Danny Chu is really, really cool. Yeah, he's so nice. Okay. What should we do? Should we should we do some like questions? What what do you guys want? I have a couple of like topics and ideas. Do you have any preference? Like I can answer some questions, I can go through some, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I can do some questions because I saw that you guys left a couple there. If you're happy with that, we can do some questions. Cool. Okay, should we do the first one? Okay, so Let's see, start answering. Let's do the question about Monster High dolls shoes. Um, so the question is, what are the best places to get cute shoes for Monster High dolls? Have you found some good stores that you could share? There are so many options for Blight and BJDs, but so few for Monster High. So the thing is that most of my dolls have original Monster High shoes. 
but the thing is that I heavily modify them. So I trim any like ornaments that I don't like, or I change the colors, or I add details to it, like I showed you guys in that recent video, you know, how I took the earrings and I just took them apart and then I glued something on, on the shoes. So I really just try to work with what I've got pretty much because there's not that many options out there, to be honest. All my current Monster High dolls have official Monster High shoes, except for two. Um, so one of them uh, is this girl. So she doesn't have the official shoes. She has some handmade shoes. Um, and if you've watched, thank you. So if you've watched the exclusive video, <laughs> thanks. So if you've watched the exclusive video that I sent, uh, that I released this morning, then you already know where I got those from. But I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, copy and paste the link to the Etsy store. The thing is though that the Etsy store that made those shoes only made one pair of shoes, and I got them. So she never sold any. She's never sold any other shoes, and I don't know if she plans to in the future. I'm gonna just copy and paste the link to the store, so you guys can have a look. There you go. So yeah, so that's the first store. Then the other store was... People want to know if it's good quality or how do they feel? Yeah, they, they, they're nice. They're very soft. Um, I've been trying to understand how they're made. So I think like the heel is a bit soft, but she can still stand in them, which is really, really nice. Um, they're very very lovely like um, the band here is elastic so you just slide the foot through I mean it's fine it's not super smooth like the original Monster High shoes they're quite bumpy and the texture I mean the texture is still um, nice and glossy but yeah it's a bit bumpy because it's you know it's handmade but they're fine like you can't tell unless you look up close and you know I think it's it's good enough, especially for the price. I think they were only 17 bucks. So I thought that for something handmade that probably took a couple of hours to make, it's a pretty good deal. So yeah, um, the other Etsy store where I got the, um, the Ugg boots, which were meant for blights, but they all high, was the store. I'm gonna copy and paste the link. Okay, so there you can see the other store. So that's the only type of shoes that were meant for blights that also fit Monster High. Um, and that's pretty much it. All my other dolls were just regular Monster High, the official, the official shoes. Um, then again, I think as long as you um, you're creative, you can really heavily modify the official ones and they will look completely different. Um, you know, you can just color them using nail polish, uh, just normal nail polish if you want to change the color. You know, you can just trim with some scissors any weird ornaments because Monster High shoes can be quite extravagant sometimes and that's not usually the style, the style that I like. You can even like glue on top fabric. You can do so many things. So as long as you're creative, you can really like create something amazing with the official shoes. But yeah, unfortunately, uh, that's that's all I have. And um, so I decided to answer this question first because there is this new Patreon feature. I mean, a feature on Patreon that I thought I might share with you just because it's really, really useful and cool. So basically, you know how I usually make posts whenever I find a new store or I get new things 
uh, for my dolls. So uh, Patreon introduced this new feature where you can um, add tags to the posts. So then you kind of create, um, what do you call it? You kind of do, you create groups pretty much. So on Patreon, I created this group called uh, doll, doll Fashion. So then if you go on my Patreon page and you click under posts, on the far left, you will see all the groups. And one of the group, uh, one of the groups is called yeah, Doll Fashion. And you can click on it and then you see all my posts where I share new stores or, or anything related to doll fashion. So that's an easy way just to, you know, keep updated or if you forget like where I got speci a specific type of shoes, you can go back and have a look there. I thought that was really good. So you don't have to scroll throughout like, all those posts that I make. Yeah. Hey, um, someone wanted to know uh, nail polish stains the doll or does it do anything from your experience? Stains the doll. I would never use the nail polish on the doll. I would use it, like I don't mind using, using it on the shoes because, you know, it's, it's fine. They're, they're so cheap. You can even buy them on eBay in bulk, you know. I don't mind using it on the shoes, but I would never use nail polish on the doll, no. It's, it's too risky. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't do it. Um, do you, oh, do you, as someone was wanted to know if you reckon you're gonna do some kind of tutorial on the MH shoes? On the what? The Monster High shoes or something? How, how to modify them? Uh, yeah, how to use fabric. Oh, yeah, 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 I was gonna, I was definitely planning to do that. Also, I want to share with you guys, like, I get um, a lot of my Monster High shoes on eBay, I mean, the official ones, because you can find the official, so, like, a bunch of really cheap ones on eBay. I'll share this link as well. So, they're really cheap, they're like two bucks, you know? Or you can get like 10 pairs for three bucks. Three bucks. Also, there's a question if a zone shoes fit mm. Monster High? Do they? Mm, I don't think so. Again, it really depends. Just because those blight Ugg boots fit Monster High, doesn't mean that all blight shoes are gonna fit Monster High. It really depends on the style. Um, Is it something about the shape of the foot? Because it's so yeah, like the only like reason Monster High are ma made for high heels. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, in the end, those Ugg boots for blights don't really have high heels, so the Monster High can't stand in them. Mm -hmm. But you can still put them on, and just just so that they look good. Mm -hmm that makes any sense. Okay. So yeah, that's what I usually do. Uh, but I definitely, I've been doing a lot of research, trying to figure out um, how to make my own shoes for Monster High. I want to learn how to make the sole, uh, like the soles and like everything so I've been just researching different ways, like should I do it uh, with a mold? Do I need to like, um, do I want to use, I don't know, wood? Or like what's the easiest um, way to create the soles? Because that's the main issue, like the main, not issue, the main challenge for me, just creating the base of the shoe. Like um, the rest is pretty easy, you know, you just need to get a ribbon or or uh, like a piece of fabric, and then you can easily create um, the top bit that holds the foot to the base of the shoe. But it's just making the base that's quite challenging, and I want it to look good. So I've been researching a lot about what's the best and easiest way to do it. So hopefully that's one of my goals for the year, just yeah, learning how to create a good Monster High shoes. And then, you know, it's it's gonna be pretty much the same method to then create mini fish shoes and any other um, doll shoes as well. Shoes as well.
Do you have any plans to try mini feet? Oh, work shoes? Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Because that's another thing, right? Like, although there is... Oh, no mini. Um, no mini is complaining. Hmm. She's not getting attention. Um, yeah, what I was saying, uh, mini fee shoes. shoes. Um, yeah, that would be the next step than doing mini fee shoes because I feel like I can't find the type of shoes that I like the most. I like a specific style and I feel like there's not that much variety out there. There is a little bit, but I feel like I'm looking for something very specific that I can't seem to find. So yeah, that would be probably the next step. <laughs> She's going to kill me. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Even brought Namine. Uh, she's not up for it. She's like, no, oh denied. No, I'm full of fluff. Denied. Oh my god, I'm all white. Maybe she'll come later. I don't think she's in the mood. Anyways, I keep getting distracted. Um, Where were we? <laughs> uh, making mini tissues. Ah, uh, yeah, mini tissues. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, 3D printing, yeah. Oh, I wish. One day, one day, I also wish I had a laser cutter machine, laser cutting. That would be great. Have you looked into those websites where you can order laser cutting? And stuff? Yeah, but they're quite expensive. And if you, it's either they're cheap, but they require, um, like you need to know how they work because they break easily and then they require a lot of maintenance or you get a very expensive one like 20k uh, but then you know 20k <laughs> it's like a car yeah. so i'm like Damn. no if i'm rich you would need like a massive production to even make it work mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. um all right so that's that done answering i hope it helped let's see ah okay Let's do next one. How do you manage your doll's expenses? So basically, please give us some tips about how to stretch out our doll's budget. So one thing that I can recommend, I wrote it down, is using like an iPhone app to track your spendings. Because I feel like many times, don't realize how much money we spend on stuff that's not really urgent or necessary like um so there's this app called where is it uh spending tracker for the iphone i don't know if there's one for android as well but basically you can track all your spending and you have um categories so for um you can Add your spending for groceries, bills, rent, uh, entertainment, anything you want. And I think it's a really good way to just be more aware of how much money you spend on other stuff that's not doll related. And then try to think if you can maybe give up a little bit on certain things to then budget a bit larger. So that's what I would do, um, especially because I know that sometimes I buy too much food and then I end up throwing it away. Like, do you really need that watermelon or can you live without it? Like the past three times, whenever I bought a watermelon, I didn't end up eating it and I just threw it away, which is a huge waste. Okay. So instead of spending the, those 10 or 15 bucks on the watermelon, I could have gotten a new <laughs> pair of shoes for my dolls. So that's what I think. Um, and you know, same thing with other stuff. Um, do you really need like that coffee um, after work? Or can you, instead of that, just put the, the three bucks into like a little piggy bank, you know, and then you slowly just save up extra money for the dolls. So that's, that would be my suggestion and advice. You know, I mean, this doll hobby is quite expensive. So, I mean, yeah, it's hard. And it also depends on your priorities, you know, and what, 
what you have going on in your life are you you know your expenses like we all have different circumstances especially if you have you know kids if you have a mortgage if you're paying off loans student loans any type of loans so yeah so that, that's what i usually do i try to be more aware about how i'm wasting money and just figuring out my priorities Okay, we've been answering questions for 20 minutes now. I think we should do some giveaways. Yes. Someone was asking about it earlier. Well, yeah. it's time. It's time. Do it. um, what do we do first? Are you gonna, so you're gonna pick out of the stream? Yeah, we can do, we can do the, we can do the charms. Do you guys want some charms? I have some charms. Who wants charms? Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, start small and then go up. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. So much excitement. Look Break at that. The chat. <laughs> the chat is breaking. Okay, check, um, so wait, <laughs> is that 35? Is that yeah, so there's 35 people. All right. So how, we, how did we do this last time? Did you... We can't eat the brown stuff. Yeah, right. there's no other way that I can think of. Yeah. I think we need to count. Uh, okay. Are you, you going to oh, show yeah. what yeah, it is yeah. first? Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. So, how do I don't know how to do it. Should I do one type first and then the other type? Or what do I do? I don't know. Okay. You mean all at one? All, all, all at or, once? No, do one and one. One and one, but all at once. Sense. I don't know. Or break it up. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, okay. First charms I'm gonna give away are of Jess. So I have five of these. So five lucky people are gonna get one of these. I just, totally didn't just drop, drop off. off. <laughs> there you so go. bad. All right. Okay. Uh, drum roll. Drum roll. Go. Go. <laughs> Result okay. is I guess. one. Number so one. The first one top. Yeah. So that's Adrian. 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 Yeah. So congrats. You get the first charm. Now, if all of you who win stuff, um could send me a private message via patreon with your full name and address and also if your username here on crowdcast is not the same on as um as on patreon let me know because i'm writing down the username here on crowdcast so it has to match to patreon or at least you let me know hey on crowdcast i was this person and i won this thing so yeah just send me a private message and yeah, I'll send it to you. Okay, next person, go, right. go, go. 33, oh God, okay. it's like. So it's minus four, all the way down, minus four. Mm -hmm. oh, so that's uh, minus, minus three. Oh, minus, minus three? Yeah. Wait, it's still the same, no, it's not the same number of people anymore. Oh, it's not? There's 37 now. Okay, just update. Just write 37. 37. Yeah, and just... Right. Okay, let's do it again. Number... I can't see Nine. that far. Nine. So that's Nine. This Which one? This one. Ness. 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 You got the second one. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Sorry, I'm being silly. It's been a long day. <laughs> Okay, next one. Go. All right. Boom. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. So five rows in one. Okay. You help me count. One, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. So Puchi Pichu. Puchi Piku. Puchi Piku. Yeah. Congrats. All right. 
Okay. Next. Oh, wait. That's the third one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So, 36 passes, seconds to last. Seconds to last is Chanel Kaneshiro. Congratulations. Right. Yep. And Last one of uh, the Jets uh, charms. We already did that. We have to well, reroll. Yeah, reroll if it's the same number. And 26. 26. Yeah, so okay. go six rows and two. Okay, let's scroll back up. Okay. Oh. Ah, Come on, computer. So you can do it. You can do it. Okay, one, one two. Three, Three, four, four, five, five and what? Six, six, and two, and two. Diana. Wait, yeah, yeah. Diana, Diana, congrats! You get the chess charm. Woo! Alrighty. Should we? Cool. What should we do? Wait. What's on my list? Um, oh, yeah. So last time when we had the online hangout, I really, really liked how you guys shared your Instagram because I feel like it's really good to, you know, find more people who are in this hobby and maybe you can find some new friends. So if you want to share your Instagram, then I'll also check it out after the stream is over. Um, so yeah, share your Instagrams. I feel like there's so many people who are currently taking a break from the doll hobby, and it can be a bit of a challenge finding people who are kind of active. So since you're all here, like 37 of you, that's a nice group of friends. So yeah, I would love to know your Instagrams and have a look and follow you, you know, make friends. Friends are good. Okay, what's next? Should we do the other charms or should I should I answer some questions first? Oh, just some questions. Questions? Yeah. Do, do, do. Okay. Oh, it's a good idea. People suggested to share afterwards. Oh, share something. after the stream? Oh, awesome. Oh, Alright, so Sounds rule, good. Oh yeah, so rule is if you have Instagram, I guess share whenever. Just don't spam because that's rude. Don't be rude. <laughs> we'll kick you out. Why, why would they spam? <laughs> they wouldn't spam. They're not that type of people. No. They're good people. All Patreon people are the best. People. Yes. That's right. Okay. Let's see what other questions we have. Have you tried or considered trying rerouting Monster High dolls? Yes, I've actually done it before. I just, I don't have the patience for it. I feel like it's taking too long. And I also don't like the fact that once you've done it, it's kind of permanent. Uh, I prefer wigs. Wigs are much more flexible. I can swap them around, you know, and I don't need to commit to it because so many times I feel like just changing things around. So yeah, I've done it before. It's just not something that I feel it's worth it for me personally. But yeah, I mean, there's pros and cons, I guess. It's good to be able to just, you know, reroute and then you can brush it and it, the, like the wig would fall off, but if it's a reroute, it's not gonna fall off. Plus the part, like, I guess it looks more natural. Um, this question about alpaca factory. Alpaca? I don't know. Uh, that uh, that's yeah, someone... alpaca works fine. I've been, I worked on plenty of dolls who had alpaca reroutes and they look gorgeous. Um, someone asked if Azon clothes fit ever after high dolls. Um, I'm not sure. They might. It depends because Azon come 
Mm, Azon dolls come in different body shapes and sizes, so it depends what you'd get. I guess some of them might fit, but look, they would look baggy. Um, it really depends. It's always a bit of a, um, I don't know, you have to be lucky for something to fit. But, yeah. I also only have one Ever After High doll, so I'm not that familiar with their body shape. I know it's a bit different from Monster High. So, yeah, I'm not entirely 100% sure. Someone was asking why you... Why do you glue the wigs instead of sewing? Sewing is the technique? Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, to make the wigs. So what do you prefer gluing? Yeah, gluing is just easier. I don't... I'm, I'm not good at sewing. <laughs> I guess it depends on per, yeah. personal plus, skill, like if you're good at sewing. Yeah, plus usually people who so use the sewing method they do it with um they do it with um what do you call it the the wefts that you already that you purchase in advance the professionally ones the professional ones and those are synthetic usually the hair is synthetic and i'm not really into synthetic wigs at the moment and I don't know how to create those kind of wefts with alpaca hair, where then we could sew it on the wig cap. What is the other question? Um, have, you, have you ever made short hairstyle for Monster Guy? Like now that I look at here, yeah, they all have long hair. I like long hair. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should try. Yeah, no, no, I, I definitely want to. It's funny because whenever, because the the um, the phone girl was meant to have short hair, and then as I was cutting the front bit, I was like, no, but her hair is so gorgeous and long. I want to keep it long. So now it's like, cut at the front, but then she has the long braids. So I'm like, no, I like it like this. But yeah, I definitely plan to do the shaved part. A wig as well. Just need to figure out the best way to do it. I mean, I already know how to use a flocked material, like most of the shaved wigs use, but I'm not entirely sure I like how that looks. So I'm just, yeah, just thinking, brainstorming other options. But yeah, it's on my list. Do you? Braid the wig on the head or on a stand or somehow else? Um, uh, on the head of the doll. I showed it in, in the video that I released today. So you can see exactly how I braided it. So it's all on the doll. My uh, wig stands are not done yet, so I can't really use those. But when they are done, yeah, the plan is to then use just the wig stands. Just in case, you know, because I'm using heat tools and brushes and stuff, and I don't want to risk um, damaging the face up. Where did you get the dress from for that pawn doll, I think was the question? Um, that's one of the stores that I featured on Patreon already. So that is... Do, 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 do. Let me try and find it. It is called, it's called, oh, I'm just gonna copy the link and I'll give it to you. Copy, copy, paste. There we go. So it's from that store. All righty. We do, should we do the other charms? Because time flies and we still have the the other stuff to do. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah? Oh, okay. Charms number two. Charms number two. More charms. All the charms. Too much charms. All right. <laughs> Is it too much? Okay. Okay, ready for some more charms? This time I have... So we've done five. Hang on. So what? before you were doing one and the other, do we... 
Hmm? Which one did you start with? Jess. Those so were all Jess charms. Those were all Jess. Yeah. Okay. And now I have these other ones. So now we have the Brie charms. Okay. <laughs> That's not how you spell. It's B R E E. Oops. All right. You don't so, know what my love name is. You know how it sounds because you always say it. <laughs> I didn't see you right. <laughs> okay, go. What's the first one? So, uh, we got 37 people still. Yep. All right. Do it. 10. Number 10. 10. Two rows and two. So, this one? Yeah, Kylie. Kylie, congrats. congrats. All right. All right. First one. Go on. Next one. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. 28. 28. Uh, uh, seven, seven, the end of the seventh row. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, five six. six. So this one? Seven. Pigeons. Pigeons? Congrats. Okay, so that's the second one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I'm looking up there, it's just because we have the screen with the computer. So yeah, I know it's a bit awkward. I'm just looking at the results. Number six. Um, six, yeah. yeah. Second in the second row is Erica, I think. I saw that right. Yes. Erica, Erica, congrats. That's no, what are you doing there? What are you doing there? Okay, we've got two more charms to go. Yeah. Number nineteen. Nineteen, okay. For so fifth fifth row, the second to last in fifth row. One, two, three, four. So it all five. Rosa Rosie. Rosa Rosie, congratulations. Woo. Okay, last charm for the night. Last charm goes to um have we done that? No, number twenty-three. So five rows and three. Okay. Again. One, two, three, four. Um, five and, and someone, someone sunshine, sunshine I, I can't see the whole it's name showing. it's not showing i think it's someone sunshine congratulations whoop whoop <laughs> congrats to everyone so yeah once again just send me a private message on patreon with your full name your address and if your nickname on crowdcast is not the same as on patreon just make sure you write that in yeah the patreon message just so i know okay should we should we do one should we do this one maybe maybe do you have some more questions uh, maybe people voted up other oh, questions. Okay. Maybe we should check that. Okay, I'll have a look. Any other questions? Because I think the voting changed a lot since oh, we really? started. I think yeah, people started voted more when they joined the stream. See, like now this. No, no, I've already answered this question. Uh, okay, can you scroll down? Yeah. Yeah. See, there's more. Today I've already answered that. Mm. I can, what should I do? Which one, which one? Oh, pick one you think you have more interesting. They're all really story. good questions, but some would take me really long to answer. <laughs> Try to summarize it, then uh, <laughs> answer something that may, that um, not gonna take you 10 minutes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I can answer. How did you get started on your face-up commission shop back in the day? 
So basically, I started by offering free face-ups um, just okay. so I can, yeah, just so I can practice. And it's funny because for the first year, like people were not even interested. Um, I was lucky enough. I got really discouraged, you know, when you offer something for free and people don't want it. You're like, oh, I'm really that bad, but how can, how can I improve if I don't practice, right? So then what I did was I just invested in a couple of you know, a face plates and I kept repainting those over and over again just so I could practice. And then I was lucky enough that during that time I made some friendships in the doll hobby and one of my friends was so kind to let me repaint her dolls. And you know, that gave me more like experience and I was able to practice even more on different dolls and not just you know us because it's also bad you know when you only do work on a specific type of dolls you don't really um show um i don't know how to explain it it's, it's just good to have a uh, variety in your portfolio basic basically so yeah thanks to my friend after about i think six months of offering free face-ups and no one wanting anything I slowly started getting some interest. So yeah, I did a bunch of free face-ups at first. And after a, a couple of months, I started charging just five, 10 bucks for the materials. And then, you know, slowly I started charging more and more, you know, since I was getting better and my time was uh, getting more valuable and all those things. But the beginning was really, really tough. Uh, and it was very <laughs> discouraging, just, you know, offering free stuff and no one being interested. So yeah, just, you, if you decide to do it, just, just keep pushing, keep trying. You know, at least now there's other options like Monster High, so you can just practice on those. They're, those are cheap dolls. When I started, I didn't really think about trying repainting cheaper dolls. I somehow, I just never thought about it. But if I could go back, I would probably do it. And at that time, there were no Monster High yet. And yeah, I was never into Barbies that much. So yeah, that was how I started. It was tough, but hey, so many years after, look, look where we're at. That's, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Someone asked if it, it was scary to do face-ups for other people. Oh yeah, it still is. Like, like even when I was working on the Enchanted doll a few weeks back, it was still it's still scary. You you always I don't know. I I feel like I mean, although you have lots of people who like your work. You always, I don't know, I don't have a lot of confidence, basically, to be honest. It have to be a bit tough to be able to accept the criticism. No, 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 no. It's about, like, I am being too critical of my own work. That's the thing, you know? Yeah. I'm like, oh, am I good enough for this all the time? Like, you question yourself a lot, even after many years of doing this. It's, it's always scary a little bit. You don't want to disappoint people. I think that's the main thing, you know, just disappointing others. Because even with a lot of practice, there's always going to be examples where your work, like you'll have good and bad days and you'll, you're gonna have good and bad face-ups. Like, it's always like a wave, you know? Like, you slowly get better, but there's always a wave. So, yeah, it's, you keep questioning yourself. Am I good enough? Can I make this work? Is the owner gonna be happy? Uh, is it worth the money? Like, am I, am I really good enough? There's so many other people who can do a better job. <laughs> Someone was asking about writing to you privately because of the giveaway, I, I guess 
uh, because of the details, right? Yeah. Uh, they said they couldn't find the button to write to you and whether they should write to you on Facebook. What did you say you, like, what was the way they should contact you? No, it, it has to be via um, Patreon. So, I'll show you. Uh, okay, so not through this site where you no, stream, no, no. they should contact you through yeah. Patreon. Yeah, that's okay. right. So, you then you go, I think it's on my front, on the front of my page. There should be a big button saying like, send a message to Andrea. But I don't know if I can see it because I can't send a message to myself. But there should definitely be a big button where you can send me a private message. Mm. Or if anyone in the chat can help with that, because I can't really see from your perspective and what kind of buttons you see. Okay, any other questions? There's only 15 minutes left. We should do the big guys. Yeah? Hmm? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so the next giveaway is this girl. So this one will go to a random patron um, the, like even if it's not in the um, live stream today so out of all, all my patrons we pick a random one you ready yeah even has already even has the list ready and everything um, we loaded all the patron names all right guys so a lot of people. See what There's we lots of people. Drum roll. Number 92. Number 92 is. Vanira Lopez. Vanira Lopez? Yeah. I'm not sure if Vanira is here, but I'm going to send her. I guess it's a girl. Got a message, and she, she got this girl. Yeah. Congratulations. Ah, speaking of shoes, this is a good example where I've modified the shoes. So I just used nail polish to color them up and now they look much better and they match the dress. Yeah, it's very simple. What are people saying? What are people saying? Um, I think there were some extra questions, but unfortunately I missed them because we were doing that other thing. You missed between. them? Shall we scroll up a little bit? Oh, this chat is crazy. <laughs> it's too fast. It's I'm nice. sorry, guys, if we didn't manage to pick up all the questions. Nice. It's nice that there's so much, so much comments going on. Ooh, okay. Let's uh, let's answer some other questions. You see, the chat gets stuck if you mess yeah. around with it too much. Yeah, so yeah. Don't, don't poke it. Too yeah, much. I'm not gonna yeah. touch the chat anymore. Uh, I think my browser is about to die. Maybe they want you to ask more from the question area. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Do, 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 do. Maybe something up with more votes since yeah. I guess people want those. Oh, yeah. uh, Oh, okay, yeah, they've been updated. They're changing all the time. Yeah, it's a thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Writing new ones. Okay. Let's see. How do you manage your time between your job and your social media? I mean, when I think about it, you have to deal between your YouTube channel, Patreon page, upload Facebook, Instagram with new picture, prepare new videos for YouTube and Patreon. And on top of that, you have a job and family, boyfriend included, to spend time with. Are you, aren't you exhausted at the end of the month? Yeah. You wanna, you wanna sit next to me since this is like a robot. Hello. <laughs> 
he knows how tired I am. He knows how much I, I work all the time. So yes, I get really, really tired. But you know, when you really like something, it's okay. When something becomes a priority, when you like it so much that you're happy to spend all your time doing it, it's, it's all right. Um, I'm really lucky that I was able to go part-time that that literally almost saved my life. I was going crazy before going part-time, like literally crazy. I had no time for anything at all, no time to just rest and just chillax a little bit. So thanks to you guys, I can now, you know, I have my weekends back and I can do normal stuff. I can spend my time with Ivan. So thanks to you, awesome peoples. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, I probably don't say enough, but yeah, without you guys, like honestly. So yeah, now I can have my weekends to, you know, clean the house, just do normal stuff. Just, you know, go to the bank if I have to, do all those regular everyday things that even had to take care of before. I can, you know, help around the house a bit more and I can just, I can just uh, disconnect a little bit during the weekends. So that's, it's, it's good for my mental health. So then now I can focus on making videos more like on Mondays and Tuesdays when I have my days off. But then I still work on videos after work on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Um, so yeah, it's really, it's, yeah, it's, it's really not easy finding the right balance. It's an ongoing thing for me, you know, like things change all the time. You know, you get sick or you have personal issues or family issues, things always pop up. So I just try to be very organized um, and just have backup plans. I'm a bit of a freak in terms of like a control freak and yeah even even can testify to that um i i i have to kind of have everything written down any plans that i have just because there's so much going on that i can't remember that's why like i feel oh i can't even remember where i bought my last pair of monster high shoes i just don't remember there's just so much other stuff that's kind of more important in my life that takes all my brain power and I can't even remember where I buy things or what I had for breakfast yesterday. I can't keep up with those things. Um, it's just, yeah, my brains, it's constantly on, in overload mode. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I said, because I like it so much, it's okay. If I didn't like it, it would, it would be terrible. But so far I love doing what I do. So. Yeah, it's good. So yeah, it, someone asked if, if videos get any faster to make once you do them a lot. Um, honestly, no. <laughs> Just because of like the editing might get a bit faster. Maybe I don't know. You learn certain tricks. Uh, you know, you learn how to just maximize your time um, and, but in the end of the day I think what was really important for me was realizing that it my videos don't necessarily need to be perfect you always want to make the most perfect videos ever you want to edit them perfectly make them you know the transition match with the music and add all these special effects and stuff so I had to just pull back from that and just really think what's more important is all those ex are all those extra things really that important you know um should i really spend an extra hour just to like make it pretty and add sparkles and animations and little buttons and pop-up animations here and there you know so i had to be just a bit more conservative in that aspect to save some time uh, but yeah, no, I don't feel it gets much faster. It still takes me about, I don't know, four to six hours to just to edit a video. So post-production, 
um, and then, you know, recording. If I do, that's why I don't do that many face-up stories anymore because it takes me, you know, a few weekends just to do a face-up. So, and, and then, you know, that's a couple of days just working on creating something and then I have to edit that. So that's why I always have like face-up stories and then I have content that's quicker to generate, like the lookbooks or like anything similar, Q and A's and stuff like that. Um, I wish I could do more of the face-up stories because I think that's what people like to see the most, but it's just impossible for me. And also I don't want to get burned out. I think it's good to have, to do different things and experiment with different uh, aspects of the hobby uh, so that it you keep it kind of fresh for yourself. But that's why I like to experiment and learn new things. I don't want to be stuck in something uh, for the rest of my life. Off topic, but hmm. important question. What is your favorite Sailor Moon character? Um, <laughs> Probably the one that you made? No? I always liked Human Luna. I just liked how um, she was mature, I guess, in terms of her character. She wasn't childish or anything. I, yeah, so I really liked her. But in terms of aesthetic, Sailor Moon was always my favorite. Uh, I also really liked, I think it was Sailor Cosmos. Was it Cosmos the one that had the heart buns um, that came from the future or something? Yeah, or with the long cape and stuff. I think it was Cosmos. So yeah, I really like her. Any other questions? Do you plan to make a career out of your creative stuff? The YouTube? Yeah, everything. Um, Patreon, YouTube, like whatever you do. Well, I'm trying to find the right balance. I don't think I want to do it full time just because having a job online can be tough, you know? Um, I think it's really healthy for me to have a normal job and just an office job and, you know, drive to a studio and be with people face to face. I've done, I've done face up commissions full time. I mean, just because I didn't have another job and that was really, really tough. Like you're constantly stuck in an apartment. You don't really leave your place. You just, like your house, your home, where you're meant to relax becomes the place where you're experiencing also all the frustrations. So I really don't want to go back to that kind of life. So I think, I think I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I think ideally would be even better if I could do, um, if I could switch my part time to maybe two full days a week. So I would work at most for two days per week and then I would do the YouTube stuff for three days. I think that would be even better, but I'm not complaining. I'm happy with how things are, are, are at the moment. Um, time is almost up. Do you want to yeah. see your little surprise? Uh, yes. Okay, guys, you, yeah, you guys are amazing. Thank you for everything. Um, you know, I just want to say something, even if we go a bit over time. The reason why I like doing giveaways for Patreon is because you guys don't ask for it. I think when people start asking for giveaways, it really ruins it for me. I like it being a surprise. I don't like it when people start expecting something. So this is why I do these things. I don't want it to be the reason why people start following me or anything. This is like my true, like my way to say thank you to you guys. I'm really bad with words. I'm really bad at expressing, you know, how I feel, but I hope this shows what I feel, <laughs> I mean, you know. So, um, so yeah, as a way to say thank you, I'm gonna give one of you the, the phone girl tonight. She's still, she's not done. She's missing the antlers. 
So until she's done, I can't obviously send her out. It's going to happen sometimes next year, January. Um, so yeah, I hope she will go to a, I mean, no, I hope. I'm sure she will go to a really nice new home. Um, I hope you will like her, uh, whoever wins her. So yeah, let's see who's going to get that girl. Is it out of here again? What's that? Out of this one? Yes, out of the 37 people here. All right, let's do it. Um, drum roll. Drum roll. Let's see. Number. Hmm? 14. Okay, let's count. So three rows down and two. Three rows down and two. This person hasn't won anything yet. Uh, this one? Wait, 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 wait. Are you let's go. Right? No, let's do it again. Wait. Oh, I think I did. Uh, your browser is down. I know. I know. Yeah, it's really right, it's choppy. Okay. Third row. Below. Yeah. Below this. Below. This uh, is Victoria Stern Lewis. Victoria, St sorry, I can't say your name. <laughs> Victoria, yeah, yeah, the 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 blue the blue little uh, avatar. <laughs> the, yeah. yeah, congrats. So, like, I wish I wish I could make a doll for every single one of you. But I hope at least, you know, this gives you a higher chance to get something from me. I can't promise to have a doll every single online hangout, but I swear I'll do my best to give as much as I can. Yay, congrats. So yeah, as soon as she's done, as soon as I have the antlers done, I'm gonna send her to you. So please send me a um, private message on Patreon, the full name and address, and I'll just write it down and just to have it ready for whenever she is ready to leave. So, oh, thank you, Shona. Thank you, guys. You're all so sweet. Any, any, any last words? Anything else I was meant to say and that I forgot? <laughs> No, it's all. I have little. I have notes because I'm like I'm so forgetful. Hmm. I think I think I covered everything that I wanted. I feel like that character in Sing who wrote the thing on her hand. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I don't know if you guys watched the movie Sing, but yeah, there is this character, this very shy character, and she had. Make sure you don't spoil too much. No, 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 I'm not gonna spoil. I don't think right. that's that's important but yeah she because she's so shy she would write stuff on her hand just so she could talk the to elephant, people yeah. yeah the elephant and that was so sweet and i was like yeah that's me that's me <laughs> i can't my brains freak out i can't mm -hmm. i can't i just can't process oh you guys you're so sweet i swear as as soon as this live stream stops uh, even last time I just went through the whole chat and I just read all your comments because I just can't I can't keep up while I'm talking So yeah, I'll definitely read everything that you guys said um, yeah, Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being so generous Thank you for liking my work. Thank you for commenting on my post. You know, thanks for for everything I'll keep working hard. I'll keep making videos um in the end i do it because of you guys because i feel really appreciated so you know you're appreciated you work three times as hard i think that's it's one of those medical things that really motivates artists i feel like so thank you for everything well i hope you enjoyed this live stream um I hope to do another one in January or maybe February. I'm just thinking because I, no, I don't think my next, next Monster High doll will be ready by then. Maybe, 
maybe late maybe late february we'll see but yeah i hope to do more of these for sure it's so nice talking to you oh happy holidays to you too um have a great holiday season have merry christmas happy new year i hope you'll enjoy your uh time with your family and friends and loved ones i hope you guys are safe and healthy and everything is going well so yeah big hugs and kisses to you guys i'm gonna go now i'm really really tired <laughs> it was great talking to you thank you Ivan. thank you for Hi. for all the help yeah it was really good having him here He's the best support. Yes. Maybe now I'll need your help Here again. Is. You're going to regret helping me. You'll be like, I don't want it to do it anymore. <laughs> so, oh. I wish I could show you an in a before. Do you think we can grab her? So oh, she seems buried down there. Yeah, in the she's really, she's really hiding, guys. So, yeah, sorry. Maybe maybe next time. She She's a bit... Yeah, she doesn't let us speak her. I mean, only whenever she wants it. And yeah, <laughs> there's, there's, I don't think I don't think we can survive if we try to grab her and sh like bring her out. <laughs> she <see> us. <laughs> yeah, she'll probably <laughs> shred us to pieces. Okay, thank you guys. I'll see you. Yeah, very soon on Patreon and YouTube and everywhere else. See you soon. Bye-bye.